Still rocking on, can't be much left now, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's still going. Um, okay, several things I want to talk about this week. Um, I haven't got any footage of anything to show you, this is purely uh, stuff to talk about things that are going on in my life and going on with my brewing and connected things. Uh, so, this coming Saturday, 16th of September, I'm going to the Bristol Craft Beer Festival. Uh, this was orchestrated by Rusty. Russell from Rusty Homebrew. Um, he, myself, and Matt from Evs Bristol, uh, all due to be going. However, we had a, a, a joint Facebook message on yesterday morning, uh, again orchestrated by Rusty. Unfortunately, Russell was hit on some uh, some bad fortune, some uh, some bad luck, and he won't be able to come this Saturday. Um, I won't go into details because it's his stuff and he'll talk to everyone in his own time I'm sure but um, it'll just be myself and Matt now so uh, Rusty gonna miss you mate um, really hope things work out for you soon and you get a bit of luck in everything that you're trying to achieve um, thoughts are with you uh, for anyone else at the time of going to press tickets for the Saturday session at the Bristol Craft Beer Festival are still on sale they are 38 quid about 40 pound with um, booking fee uh, and it's like the London Craft Beer Festival that a large number went to during the summer um, you pay your money and then you drink free for the five hours you're there what's not to like uh, so Matt and I will be there from half eleven till half past four at the Saturday session have a look online if you can make it come along let us know on Facebook message us and we'll make a day of it um, moving on uh, as anyone who's been watching my videos will know I've been brewing decan like a man possessed for the last few weeks whilst I prepare for my mate's wedding I've done the last one now um, that's still to bottle uh, it needs just to have a quick cold crash before I do so and uh, I've, I've come to a conclusion with my setup that really this, these four brews have been the uh, kind of benchmark for me to really try and dial in what I'm doing with the new equipment and stuff um, and I batch barged on the last one for the first time across the four DK and brew days I've done which is what I always used to do on my old setup and I'll tell you what far better efficiency than when I have been attempting to fly sparge I put it down to just my own inefficiency of fly sparging I've only done it two or three times and all on this, this particular set of beers um, I was getting uh, original gravity is like 104.6, 104.9 when I was fly sparged and I got 105.8 when I batch sparged last week. So um, yeah, that's the way forward. I'll be going back to that now. Um, no, I never say never. Um, if I learn a bit more about what I'm doing, then maybe I'll go back. But um, yeah, so that's one thing I've learned in the last week. Um, I did a little video the other week and I introduced people to a method of uh, sealing their hops, sealing their um, grain, whatever it might be that's going in the freezer um, that didn't involve having to use vacuum sealer. This is called water displacement. Great idea. If you're putting stuff in the freezer, I would continue to do it. I've, I've been very happy with it. In that time, I've also been using my HLT to um, cook things sous vide. And uh, yeah, well, that, that's been okay. It's worked. The steak I made in it the first night I did it was absolutely freaking lush. Um, however, I've done a few different things since then, and about 50% of it has burst my Ziploc bags when it's been in the um, in the HLT, and uh, it tends tended to be things that are liquid based. So um, for anyone who's intending to cook sous vide with their brewing equipment, I personally would still go down the vacuum cellar route because I think they're going to be a lot more robust and they'll put up with it. Just uh, something I've noticed. Uh, the new series that I intro with that video, um, all to do with uh, different things to do with spent grain. Uh, I'll be putting the first video up later this week. Um, got to pull my finger out and actually make some bread. Um, so that'll be the first one. Just 
a recipe for uh, spent grain bread and how to make it. Uh, so I'll be getting my flour out and my apron on and you can all have a bit of a laugh at me. Uh, what else? Well, the, the most notable thing in um, in happening at the moment is that uh, on Friday, all being well, touch wood, uh, we're getting the keys to our new house. So we should complete on Friday. There's a locksmith coming on Friday afternoon. First, the person I've booked in because he's going to let me into my garage. So basically, it was an estate sale; they didn't have a key to the garage. I can sell through the window and the, the the nets that there's bundles of stuff in there. God knows what. Um, but yeah, I've got to have a big clear out. But for the first time, I'll get to have a look at the inside of the new brew cave. So uh, a little bit excited about that. There's a lot of work to do. Um, some of you might have seen a photo I put up on Facebook generally of. Um, uh, I like the back garden and the um, jungle that is. Uh, so yeah, we've got our work cut out. There's a lot of work to do. It's mainly aesthetics though, and we'll get there. So that's quite exciting. Looking forward to that. Looking forward to having a new space. Space that is literally mine as well, um, to put my own stamp on. I imagine, I think there's electricity to it, but I'd be surprised if there's more than two uh, two sockets in there. It tends to be standard on garages and that. So, um, I might. We're gonna. We're having like a spark come out to have a look at the uh, do a sur basically a, sur uh, a, a survey of the electrical systems within the house and see that they're all up to spec and whatever. And once I can see what I've got, I might have a word in his shell and just say, look, what would it cost to put a few more sockets in here and make it good, you know? Um, so yeah, very excited by that. Um, it's gonna be a lot of work, but yeah, can't wait. So. That's really it guys, bit of a ramble this week, just a few things that are going on. Um, I'm gonna have another sniffer of this. Uh, yeah, the only other thing to let you know actually is my intention is after Friday, uh, Saturday in the Craft Beer Festival, I'm gonna have a couple of weeks off the beer um, because I've been a nuisance to uh, purveyors of beer and um, so on and so forth for a number of weeks now. I, I've been struggling to have days off, so I've been really bad. I've let myself down and <laughs> I need to uh, have a little system refresh, bit of a reboot. So yeah, from uh, the point that I come back from Bristol, worse for wear, I'm gonna try and knock it on the head for a few weeks. It should be a couple of weeks, two weeks. That's all I'm gonna go for. Try and set my stall out easy. Um, by then the stout should be finished. I'll have nothing else on keg. The only thing I'm gonna have is copious numbers of bottles of decan which is not for my consumption anyway plus the size of which let's be frank is 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 um is, is a strong drink and uh, i can probably get by not having that too often so yeah can try and have a couple of dry weeks pardon me anyway guys have a cool cup happy homebrew fucking wednesday enjoy yourselves love your family love your friends and i'll see you on the flip side